Hello, this is Calvin Jones with the Park Tool Company. In this video we were going to review some basic tools uh, beginning with the hammer. Hammer of course a basic uh, tool for any workshop, any toolbox. Uh, this is used to uh, impact and impart force. Uh, the, uh, the hammer is grasped firmly. Uh, we do not hold it 90 degrees to our arm. We tend to hold it in line with our arm. Uh, we want to hold the hammer up, choking up on the hammer when tapping for light, light precision taps. We're looking to impart force. We come back on the hammer. Uh, we are swinging with the, uh, the shoulder and the whole arm uh, when we want to really crush something. We are going to use more the wrist, more the wrist action uh, for precision, precision tapping. Uh, from basic training, some basic skills here, we do like to impact squarely with the steel head or the plastic head. We try not to hit up on an angle. A piece of uh, scrap wood is, is useful for this. If I'm striking incorrectly, we can see a that semicircle I have hit on an, on an angle. We want to impact flat. We don't want to come in. Don't want to come in on an angle. So when we're using this uh, on a bike, it may be to remove a headset, such as the, the uh, race, race remover here, the RT1 or RT2. Again, we want to impact squarely not in an angle. As a general rule, uh, when we are striking uh, steel objects, punches and such, we are using the steel side. We are not using the, uh, the plastic side here. Uh, imparts much less force and that of course is its, uh, its purpose. So the uh, crown race setter, same concept. We do not want to come on an angle. Here we would want to come square on top. This would be an example of swinging with the whole arm, the shoulder uh, choking back, coming back on the handle here uh, to impact with, with force. An example uh, where we would want uh, lighter tapping, more precision tapping, uh, would be, say, with a center punch in any kind of material we're going to uh, tap uh, to have a, a punched hole for, for drilling. Uh, here we, we place the center punch where we like. Now we're choked up and a light tap. That gives us uh, control and, and plenty, plenty uh, mark uh, for our, our drill. The HMR4 from Park Tool has two sides. A steel side uh, for tapping other drivers such as crown race setters and uh, center punches. Plastic side uh, will also have its uses. When using the plastic side, a very useful technique is called the dead blow. That's where we come down with the hammer and stop the impact. Uh, we don't let it come back. That is not a dead blow. Dead blow is down and stops. Uh, that way the force is, is not bounding back at us. As an example of using a dead blow on a bike, uh, might be, for example, a crank arm, either a square taper or the spline style to help speed the, the process of installation. We hold the opposite side. Here we are striking with the plastic and stopping that impact. Not rebounding off, stopping. 